Hello all, welcome back to Microbiology Central. So today's lecture is going to be on sterilization and disinfection. Sterilization is a process of removing or destroying all the microorganisms from materials or from their surfaces. The microorganisms may be removed in the vegetative form or in the spore form. Disinfection is the destruction of microorganisms that cause infection but not the spores. The number of organisms is reduced so that it is not harmful or infectious. Antiseptics are disinfectants when applied to living tissues prevent infection by inhibiting the growth of microorganisms. Asepsis is a technique which prevents the occurrence of infection into an uninfected tissue. There are two methods of sterilization. They are physical methods and chemical methods. In this video, we are going to discuss about the physical methods of sterilization. There are different physical methods of sterilization. They are sunlight, heat, filtration and radiation. Sunlight. The UV rays from the sun has natural germicidal effects. This is a natural method of sterilization of rivers, lakes and the water in the tanks. Heat. Heat is the most commonly employed method of choice of sterilization. It is one of the most effective method and there are two types of heat, dry heat and moist heat. Dry heat. Dry heat kills the microorganisms by denaturation of proteins, oxidative damage and toxic effect of electrolyte elevation. The different procedures that are followed for sterilization using dry heat are red heat, flaming, incineration and hot air oven. Red heat. The articles used for culturing like inoculating loops, tips of forceps and needles are sterilized by holding them in the Bunsen burner till they become red hot. Some materials like micro glass lights, mouths of culture tubes, media bottles and scalpels are flamed in the Bunsen burner to sterilize them. They are slightly passed through the flame and are not allowed to become red hot. This is called as flaming. Incineration is destroying the infective material by burning them to ashes. Incinerator is an instrument used to incinerate animal carcasses, soil dressings, bedding and other pathological materials. Hot air oven is the most widely used method of dry heat sterilization. It is used for the sterilization of glasswares, surgical instruments, chemicals, etc. The oven is heated electrically and uses a thermostat to control the temperature. A fan is fitted for uniform distribution of hot air inside the chamber. 160 degrees Celsius for an hour is the ideal time required for the sterilization. In order to ensure proper sterilization, a non-toxigenic strain of Clostridium tetani or Bacillus subtilis subspecies niger is placed in the oven. The destruction of the spores upon sterilization in hot air oven confirms proper sterilization. The second type of heat sterilization is moist heat sterilization. Moist heat sterilization will be used at different temperatures. At a temperature below 100 degrees Celsius, at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, and at a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. At a temperature below 100 degrees Celsius, two types of method are used for the pasteurization of milk. Holder method at 60 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and flash method 72 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes followed by cooling quickly to 13 degrees Celsius or lower. Lowenstein Jensen's and Loeffler's serum media containing egg or serum are sterilized by heating at 80 to 85 degrees Celsius for half an hour daily on three consecutive days. This process is called inspissation. Vaccine baths are used for the sterilization of bacterial vaccine at 60 degrees Celsius for one hour. Serum or body fluids are sterilized by heating at 56 degrees Celsius for one hour. at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Boiling for 10 to 30 minutes is used to kill vegetative forms. This method may be used for sterilizing glass syringes and rubber stoppers. 
Steaming at 100 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes on three successive days is called tindalization or intermittent sterilization. The first exposure in the process kills the vegetative forms and the remaining cores germinate into vegetative which are killed during subsequent heating. A steam sterilizer is used for media which are decomposed at higher temperature of autoclave. Here, the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. The material kept on a perforated tray are exposed to steam at atmospheric pressure for 90 minutes. The vegetative forms are killed by this method except for the thermophiles. At a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. Autoclave is an instrument that is used for moist heat sterilization at a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. Saturated steam or steam above 100 degrees Celsius has a better cooling power than dry heat. Autoclave is a modified pressure cooker or a boiler. The material to be sterilized is placed on a tray. After boiling the water, the steam and air mixture is allowed to escape till the air has been displaced. The holding period is 15 minutes till the steam pressure rises inside. After the holding period, the heating is stopped and the autoclave is allowed to cool. The temperature used in an autoclave is 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Autoclave is used to sterilize culture media for materials which cannot withstand the higher temperature of hot air oven. Spores of Bacillus sterothermophilus are used as test organism or autoclave tapes are also used. This is a picture of a autoclave. This is a picture of a basic autoclave containing pressure regulating device, pressure gauge, safety valve, autoclave lid, handles, autoclave body, steam release valve, vacuum release valves and outer stand. The third method of sterilization is filtration. Filtration is used for the sterilization of substances that get damaged by heat process. For example, sugars, sera, antibiotic solutions, etc. The pore size of the filter that is used is around 0.7 micrometer in diameter. This filter retain bacteria but not viruses or mycoplasmas. They are most commonly used for the purification of water and for the isolation of viruses in filtrates. The types of filters that are most commonly used are Earthenware candles, for example, Bergfeld or Chamberlain filters, asbestos disc filters, example, Sage filter, sintered glass filter, and membrane filters. Next is the radiation. There are two types of radiation that are used for sterilization ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation include gamma rays, x-rays and cosmic rays. They are harmful to the bacteria and damage the DNA by different mechanisms. Gamma rays are used in sterilization of disposable items like plastic syringes, swabs, culture plates, etc. And this method is called as cold sterilization. Next is the non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation include infrared and ultraviolet radiation. Infrared radiation is used for sterilization of syringes and catheters, whereas UV radiation is used for disinfecting closed areas such as bacteriological labs, laminar airflow chambers and operation theaters. But spores are always resistant to UV radiations. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more content on microbiology.